Hello and welcome to catsticam.com. Because of our location here in Glen Ridding, we get a lot of customers coming in with boot fitting problems. We're on the coast to coast walk, we're at the foot of Helvellyn and there's a lot of really serious hiking around here. And a lot of people come in with, foot, with, with problems with the, the heel lifting or the foot slipping about, getting blisters. And a lot of the problems that people come in with can be solved quite easily in the shop just by messing about with the lacing or, or socks, using thicker socks sometimes. One of the most common problems we have is people coming in saying the heel's lifting and when you have a look at the boot it'll be laced up really slack down there and you think well no wonder to be honest. What you'll need to do when you're putting your boots on is make sure you lace them up nice and tight and don't just get them at the top and pull the laces. Start at the bottom and pull each section individually so that's nice and tight and work the, the, the level of, um, of security up to the top and then you're tying it off there so you've got nice even pressure all the way along. When you've got that nice and tight, it's going to push your heel down into the heel counter, it's going to clamp your foot across the top, and it's going to stop your foot slipping down to the front. So when you're lacing your boot up, you need to make sure you've got nice even pressure up there, and you want it to be laced up as tight as is comfortable for you. The tighter it is, the better it'll do its job, basically. But you don't want it so tight it's going to turn your foot purple. It's got to be comfortable. You're out to do an activity you enjoy, and to enjoy your day's walking, you need comfortable boots. Sometimes you might want the boot tighter across your, your forefoot, but a bit slacker across the, the, the top around your ankle. Sometimes if you're, you're, on a, if you're walking on the level on quite easy walking, you can loosen it off at the top, but you need to make sure that loosness doesn't work down to the bottom. Now with Salomon boots like these, these have a great thing. These have got this lock-off nut here. So as you're lacing it that across there, that locks off in there, and then you can set the tension at the top different from the tension at the bottom. That, the, if you have it looser there, the looseness won't work down. If you don't have a Salomon boot, or not just Salomon, but uh, a boot with a locking off nut there, you can put a surgeon's knot across the top here. It's just your first knot when you're putting your boot on, and then just do that again, go through again. And that's what they call a surgeon's knot. And by putting a surgeon's knot in there, that will retain the, the tension and not let the looseness slip down, but you can have it looser over the top here. One way of, of lacing up boots that we find um, very helpful for people, especially if they're not used to wearing boots, and especially for ladies as well, if they're finding they're getting a lot of uh, pressure around their ankle here, if there's the, the back of the tongue or the back of one of the hooks is putting pressure on the foot, then you can lace this up a slightly different way, which can make a really big difference. To do this, you need to have two free hooks at the top there. So you go on up there as per normal, but then instead of going on to the next one, you go straight up to the top, lace that through there, and then you bring this down and you're tying it off here. Now by doing this, by lacing that like that, you're giving yourself more flexibility at the top. It's actually giving you more movement, so if you're finding that you're, it's, if you're getting pressure on your ankle, this can help to relieve the pressure. If it's putting pressure on the front of your shin there, this can help because you're moving the bulk of the knot lower down, and you're still getting it nice and tight, but you've got more flexibility around the top by doing it like this. For people that are finding the heel lifting, this can work as well, because you can actually pull it in a bit tighter doing it this way than you can if you just did it normally, but without getting the pressure on the front of your foot. And there. You quite often see people leave the, the top hook undone because they don't like it too tight. Now this is a much better alternative than doing that. All the hooks and deerings are there for a reason. The boot's designed for everything to be used. So if you use everything you will find the boot fits much better and gives you much more support. Another good way of relieving a heel lift is to use um, a, a one of these which is called a heel lift. The theory being if your heel's lifting that much inside the boot you slip that underneath the insole and then that's going to take up the movement and move your heel up into the narrower part of the boot and keep it all in place. It doesn't always work, sometimes you can move your heel out of the, the correct place for the boot, out of the heel counter, but it's another thing that's worth trying. If the whole boot's feeling a bit loose, then the boot can be a bit big for you. Um, now you can relieve that by wearing thicker socks and you can also use a volume reducer which is just a flat footbed that, that you would put underneath the insole that's already in and it's going to move your foot up into a slightly narrow part of the boot and just make the boot that little bit smaller for you. Another way of trying to relieve movement inside the boot 
and this is another one if the boot's a bit too big for you, if the boot's too high volume, is you can use a tongue depressor. Now you pop this underneath the where are we at? you put this underneath the laces here. So you'd actually pull the laces out, slot that underneath the tongue, and then lace up over the top of it. And that's reducing the volume from above. So you can have a volume reducer underneath your foot to reduce the volume from below, a tongue depressor above to reduce the volume from above, and lacing it in nice and tight with thicker socks that can clamp your foot down and help to hold your foot in position much better. Another good product to help stabilise your foot and reduce movement inside the boot is Superfeet. Now these are a replacement footbed that you'd take the, your existing one out and put this in instead and it's a wonderful product. It's, there's two different types, well two, two basic different types, high profile and low profile and we find the green high profile ones can work really well in boots if your heel's lifting a bit. It raises your heel slightly inside the heel counter and it gives you arch support so it's stopping your foot from, from splaying forward. We'll go into Superfeet in another video in more detail but just to make you aware it's another one to, uh, to consider if you're getting boot fitting problems. I hope that's been of some help to you. So there's many different things you can try to get your boots to fit properly. The best thing to do is come and see us and buy your boots from us, obviously, because we're brilliant at it. But seriously, we do spend a lot of time with people fitting boots. We've got, between us, many, many years' experience, and we, we do know what we're doing. Everybody that comes in here to buy boots, they're going out and using them straight away, so we need to make sure we're sending people out in boots that fit properly. So please, if you're having boot fitting problems, hopefully some of these can be of help, but the best thing you can do is come and see us to buy your boots of us, or if you are having problems, with the boots you've got somewhere else, come and see us and we will spend as long as it takes to get it right for you. We really will. Thank you very much. Bye.